What's up everyone? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. To get us started on today's video, we can see from a video shared by Bank XRP that Ripple has updated its public version of its B2B liquidity hub. Ripple Liquidity Hub is now live. With this new large-scale liquidity mechanism by Ripple, businesses will be able to streamline their cryptocurrency transactions. With the Liquidity Hub, more businesses can start using crypto in their financial strategies as a medium of exchange or as a low-cost option for cross-border value transfer. It's no longer an idea or something on the horizon. It's here, a reality today, crypto. And it's already a part of how businesses and people trade, move, and manage value. In 2021, established financial institutions such as PayPal, Square, Visa, and MasterCard built out crypto-based products and services. This type of institutional enthusiasm indicates that crypto is here to stay. Today, enterprises are looking to diversify asset holdings, to offer crypto trading services to end customers, to pay employees in crypto, and to accept crypto as a form of payment. To support these activities, institutions need access to crypto liquidity. Coming in 2022 and beyond, at Ripple, we're building Liquidity Hub. Once launched, Ripple's Liquidity Hub platform will enable companies to seamlessly access crypto from a variety of venues. The product will support a turnkey integration and allow companies to offer their end customers the ability to buy, sell, and hold crypto. Enterprises will be able to maintain separate accounts via Ripple's custody solution and monitor and analyze transactions through a comprehensive dashboard. But that will be just the beginning for Liquidity Hub. As a leading liquidity platform, it will enable many additional enterprise applications for crypto and serve as a cost-effective way to source a variety of new and cutting-edge crypto assets. Join us for this exciting journey as we explore new horizons and applications of crypto. <laughs> As always, welcome back to MoneySide, your favorite crypto news channel. If you're new here, welcome to the XRP Army. Hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss out on our daily crypto news updates. Commenting more on the same, Brad Chase, the head of liquidity products at Ripple, stresses that the release of such an application is the result of the years-long efforts of his team to build complex financial solutions for the B2B segment. Liquidity Hub benefits from all the hard-won lessons Ripple gain sourcing liquidity from other providers and across multiple venues for on-demand liquidity. It combines ease of use, powerful payment integrations, cost savings, and more into a single, scalable enterprise-grade platform. Crypto is here. It's no longer an idea or on the horizon. It's already the reality of how businesses and people trade, move, and manage value. But despite a growing desire by businesses to engage in crypto, integrating digital asset solutions is complex. It often requires cumbersome integrations, has high costs, and involves engaging with fragmented, slow, and costly fiat payout landscape. At Ripple, we build Liquidity Hub to seamlessly bridge the new world of digital assets with the traditional world of fiat, the experience is plug and play, encompassing a single API connection into a breadth of liquidity pools. It offers optimized pricing via smart order routing and through Ripple's suite of products, best in class last mile fiat payouts into global jurisdictions will be available. Liquidity Hub powers interoperability between crypto and fiat systems, bridging digital assets seamlessly. Partner with Ripple, for your crypto liquidity needs today. More on the updates today, we can see that there's been a bit of FUD surrounding the fact that XRP was missing from the Liquidity Hub product. Everyone is wondering if this is just a PR mistake, settlement agreement, jurisdiction issue, or something temporary. Since the Liquidity Hub not using XRP FUD seems to be spreading like wildfire, the digital asset investor has shared something very informative. He shares a video where Ashish Birla, a board member at Ripple, explains how Ripple's liquidity Hub works. Also, Ripple has since updated its website with more information on assets that are available and why. In the blog, Ripple clarifies 
that XRP will be evaluated along with other tokens for support within the liquidity hub. Further, Ripple declares that they look forward to supporting XRP as it receives clarity in the U.S. Listen in. Liquidity Hub will support Bitcoin, Ether, XRP, Litecoin, Ethereum Classic, and BCH. But over time, we plan to expand this set of assets and we provide liquidity for, uh, for especially as, as more assets tokenize on blockchains. We're at the very beginning of what, can, of what this can look like. And we believe that enterprises will one day want to access tokenized assets such as NFTs. The Liquidity Hub is designed with infrastructure and systems to support long-term crypto adoption. And in the future, every customer will join RippleNet with the same base service and a wallet designed to support both crypto and fiat. By adding this technology, customers can take advantage of the latest blockchain-enabled solutions that keep them at the cutting edge. The platform is designed to seamlessly upgrade and add new services as customers want them. In the future, customers can use their Ripple-enabled wallet to custody anything that's tokenized. Crypto, crypto liquidity is the common thread that in, underpins all of our products from payments to lending to credit. Naturally, we see this as an opportunity for a product to exist around crypto liquidity itself as a standalone experience. Our goal is to ultimately build an ecosystem of enterprise-oriented crypto products that can efficiently and effectively service our customers. Another interesting scoop from Rise XRP. Brad Garlinghouse shares what the vision has been for Ripple. Ripple's focus all along has been to solve the real problems for real customers, especially around cross-border payments and reducing the friction in settling cross-border payments. But a specific comment by Kendra Hill really caught my eye. Think about this. Cross-border payments has been a nice testing ground to prepare Ripple for the use case they have been focused on since the very beginning. The true intentions of Ripple are to handle 100% of the transactions which take place in the derivatives market. So why don't they make this public knowledge? Be careful what the media is feeding you. You might miss out on a lifetime opportunity to build generational wealth. One of the challenges of the industry has been to focus on solving real problems for real customers. And Ripple, obviously, from its earliest days, focused on the problem around cross-border payments. That's a point of a lot of friction as measured by speed and cost. And by focusing there, we've been able to have a big impact on that you know, relatively small piece. But I think over the next years, you're going to see many financial transactions where a middleman sits, a middle transaction, an intermediary, those will get removed and we'll use blockchain and other digital asset type technologies to, to remove that friction. And I think all of society will benefit from improving the efficiency of those, those systems. I think you'll see that certainly you've seen it in security settlement as an opportunity. Uh, the, you know, the financial transactions around bonds, around derivatives, a lot of these things take a while to settle and the, the friction associated actually holds back the industry. Insurance is an industry I think you're going to see touched. Uh, trade finance is an industry that really ripple some of our customers have invited us to participate in. Uh, and you've seen an experimentation around identity in uh, real estate and title management. And you know, these are all examples where I think it's so hard to predict where this will go in the same way that 25 years ago, when I first got involved in the Internet of Information, I never could have predicted on my smartphone, I'd press a button and I'd have a car picking me up minutes later. You know, I think this will permeate lots of different parts of our society. And now, as we wind down on today's video, Rise XRP has shared a snippet of Joel Katz. There's no doubt Ripple is laser focused on payments at this point. Listen in. Payments are a multi trillion dollar problem. And it seems like cryptocurrencies are just naturally suited to make payments better. And it's specifically, we kind of focused on cross-border international payments, not because domestic payments are great, but because it's it's their cross-border payments are the worst. Like if you anyone who's made an international payment probably has stories of, of bad experiences. And so the worse the thing you start with, the less amazing you have to be to be better. And I think like, I think we can eventually be amazing and sort of take over the payments world, but we're not going to be there day one. And so we, if we can't, you know, if we can't succeed against the worst part of the problem, why are we, why are we bothering? 
And so that was kind of the very earliest focus. And I think that kind of matured between 2011 and 2014, this kind of focus of like, we really need to solve payments. Like pay, it, it, and if you think about any other use case, you think about an NFT, well, I want to buy it and I want to sell it. You know, think about a loan. Well, I want to pay the loan back and I want to get paid like the amount of money I borrowed. Like all of these other use cases need great payments. And so we just sort of laser focused in on payments. As always, do your own research and always trade safely, guys. Please keep in mind, we're not a licensed financial advisor. All videos on this channel are intended for entertainment purposes only. Let us know what you think in the comment section below and let's have a conversation. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to like this video. Please click on that subscribe button below and turn on notifications so you get informed when we drop new video. We'll look forward to seeing you on the next Money Side.